back again in my old beach down top as well, here to teach you some more cooking tips for very quick and healthy food, really good for kids because they're probably eating everything at the moment. So I'm sure your children, or maybe you, are really missing Beach Downs chicken goujons. So today we're gonna to make some of our own by using uh, cornflakes. Um, okay, so obviously they're a bit healthier than normal um, chicken nuggets because they're not fried or anything, so it's good. <clears throat> You've just got cornflakes and whack them in the oven. So yeah, right, let's get started. So first thing you need 300 grams of chicken um, and then you need to chop it up. I've already chopped mine up here. So you can do them in whatever shapes you want, but I've done them in sort of um, chicken goujon shapes, so quite long. This is actually chicken thigh because that's all we could get in Morrison's. Um, so that's why it looks a bit fatty, but yeah, so just like that. And then, so once you've chopped that up, next you need to grab your cornflakes. So weigh out 120 grams, if that's the amount of chicken you're using, then weigh out 120 grams and then pop it into a bag like this. Okay, and then all you need to do is get your rolling pin and then just crush them up. I've already pre-crushed mine a little bit, so you'll need to crush them a bit more than this. Lovely. And then I'll show you sort of what that looks like. Okay, so it's a bit like this. There might be a few big bits in there, but... Or the other option is to blend them. But as you can see, if you blend them, they're a lot more fine. So... Okay, so you can either have quite soft coatage or quite crunchy. Now, these ones are the crunchy ones, so I'll try both today. Okay, so next, you need some flour. So just plain flour will be fine. Um, you can sieve yours, but I didn't bother, so when they come out all right, so it's okay. And all you need here is three quite heat, you can see there, heat tablespoons. Two, three. Now, if your goujons are a lot for adults, so like mine, or if your kids like spices, you can add a few bits to it. So I'm gonna add some salt, some pepper, some paprika. It's not nearly all gone. You can see we love paprika in my house. Um, and some all-purpose. And there were supposed to be some chili flakes as well, but I've um, forgotten those, so that's fine. Okay, so then just mix all of that in. So it's just like that. Lovely, and then next, so I've already cracked mine, so I've cracked two small eggs in here, and then just whisk it up. So, nice and easy. So you want it to be really, really whisked. So as you pick up the fork, nothing, there's no like hang down, it's just drips. So you might need to pause it and catch up with that. Okay. So once you've got your cornflakes, your chicken, your egg, and your flour, you're ready to start. So I'll show you a couple. Okay, so first you need to get your chicken and then you need to dip it in the flour. So really coat it in the flour, but then shake off all the excess. You don't want excess flour. Then next, you wanna dip it into your egg. So just like that. Okay, so that's coated in both. Let the excess drip off again. And then just whack it in the cornflakes. Cover it up. Okay, like that. And then, just looks like that and then straight into your baking tray there. Oh, and you need to um, preheat your oven to 180. Um, it's fine if you've got to this step and I've just reminded you, it will still be warm enough by the time you get through all of these. Um, so yeah, now they take about 30 minutes to cook. 
Okay, so we'll do one with the second coating. So I'll just wipe the cornflakes off my fingers. Lovely. Okay, so same again. Get your piece of chicken, dip into the flour, coat it over, and then shake off the excess. Dip it into your egg. Again, shake it off the excess and then straight into your cornflake flour. Okay, nice and covered. It's very messy as well. My hands are covered. Okay, just like that. So here we've got two different types there. As you can see, so you've got your crunchy and your soft. And then whack them in the oven for about 30 minutes. Obviously, it depends if you've done smaller ones, then reduce it down to sort of between 15 and 30, depending on size. Just keep checking them and check the middle. And then you'll have these lovely, delicious, healthy chicken goujons. Right, thank you. Hope everyone's having a great uh, isolation. Hope to be back soon. Bye.